Okay, so um, this lesson is the exact same as the day before, except it's less than instead of greater than. By the way, um, less greater than, you also want to define it as more than. Less than, you also want to define as fewer than. Um, so this lesson is the exact same. Um, sorry, let me just write that down. There you go, remember that. Um, it, you're still going to follow the four steps. This would be a good place to just pause your video and see, like, do I remember what those four steps are? Have I, my teacher, internalized these four steps? Because it's not four steps for the kids. The kids should intuitively start to just know these things. Those four steps are for you to make sure you're really getting at this from every direction that you can and building their brains to understand it as deeply as possible. Um, the four steps are to line them up, right? Then to uh, count them up. Then to say that sentence, five is more than four. In this case, you're going to end up saying things like three is less than five. And then finally, to use your number line, right? So we're going to do that here. I'm just going to add one thing, okay? Um, and, and we'll get to that in a second. This slide, though, I love. It says, when would you want a group that has fewer than another group? And I think that this is just a fun thing to talk about because it really, it's just an example of how we can take math and make it memorable and make it meaningful um, and actually like create a connection and understanding in the brain because it's, it's going to be relevant, like kids are going to want to share it. So when would you want a group that has fewer? Yesterday we talked about more and like obviously I want more cookies, obviously I want more money, but when would I want fewer? Stop and think. Have some ideas ready. Um, I would like fewer boogers in my nose than Joe. I all love to talk about boogers, you guys, because kindergartners, like, just cannot believe it. They're, like, shocked that their teacher said the word booger, then giggle, and they never forget it. Um, no, but I would like to have fewer parking tickets. That one isn't really kindergarten friendly. You can brainstorm. This is a fun way to make it meaningful. Fewer means less. Now, there's a group of school buses shown. And we want to show a group that has less. Teachers, here is the only component for less that is a little bit different that we take for granted. When we do more, we always have the same and then we add a few, right? We start almost with where they're equal and then we keep going. That's a useful thing to think about when we're going to show the kids less. Instead of just automatically saying, like, let me put a line that's shorter, think about, well, here, if I line these up exactly one to one, that's where they have this same. I don't want the same. I want this to be less. I'm going to take one away. Notice my line is shorter than the other line. That's what less is, right? It's smaller. But just starting with equal as like your jumping off point. The same, you know, because that also helps us with the number line. Anyway, well, then we'll go through these same steps, right? The number, counting them, practice counting. I'm just telling you this is three and two. But one, two, three, right? One, two. Then saying, okay, so two is less than three. By the way, we could also say three is more than two. Throw that in there. Now let's look at our number line. Here was three. One, two, three. Here was three. And now we're back from three. We're less than three. Less than numbers are going to be on this side, on the left side. And then you just keep practicing.